How does Wi-Fi work on a dash camera? This is very easily confused. Most customers actually associate this with their home Wi-Fi. We actually had a customer once that every single time I was showing him how to pair his Thinkware dash camera to his phone, he kept walking into the house. And after the third time, I said, sir, I really need to ask you, what are you doing? He goes, I'm trying to pair the dash camera to my home Wi-Fi. No, that's not how it works at all. As much as it's kind of funny telling the story, the thing is, it's a reality that most customers actually think it works with their home Wi-Fi. So a couple different things I want to eliminate in this video. One, you don't need to be near your home Wi-Fi at all in order for your dash camera to work with the smartphone app on your phone. Two, the dash camera actually creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot. You just have to literally push the Wi-Fi button depending on your dash camera. You may need to go into the menu in order to activate it. And then it allows your smartphone app, which you need to download from the App Store on an iPhone or for the Play Store on an Android device. Once installed on your iOS or Android device, you can now use the app in order to connect to the dash camera. And the main reason why it does this is so that you can download videos, change settings, and that is very important. It's just convenient. Now, some people are gonna say it's a waste, and that's fine. It, you may not like this option. And for you, all you have to do is take the SD card out of the unit, plug it into your computer, and view the videos that way. But some dash cameras don't allow you to change settings unless you actually hook up with your smartphone app in order to actually change those settings. Some people may not want to use parking mode or other features of the dash camera, and this will actually give you the capability in order to change it on the fly. For instance, maybe you're actually driving to a restaurant that might be in an area of the city that might be a little sketchy and you feel a little uncomfortable, and you might want to turn on your time lapse, low bit rate, or some sort of impact detection parking mode, and you can just log in very quickly and turn those features on, log back out, go into your restaurant, eat, come back out, and review your footage quite easily to re reduce any anxiety or anything, any fears that you might have had while parking and going and eating at that restaurant. Oftentimes, when people get a Wi-Fi dash camera, they believe they now have access for, from the dash camera inside their house or anywhere in the world because they're on Wi-Fi. This is completely false. This actually, they would only have access to it if there was a SIM card in it, not an SD card, a SIM card, a cellular card, which is gonna involve you having to play some sort of subscription every single month, and you're gonna to have to have a cellular SIM card installed in the unit. There are a few units that do have this capability. Blackview is very famous for them, and I feel they do a great job with their cloud service amongst other units. I hope this helped clear up some of the misconceptions on Wi-Fi, but the main thing is you don't need your home Wi-Fi and it's very simple. All you need is to push the Wi-Fi button on the dash camera and use your phone in order to actually pair directly to it on the smartphone app. The only challenges that you are gonna see is if you have wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, there are some little extra procedures that may be needed in order for you to pair to your device. And the last thing is you do not need to pair to your device the whole time while driving. These are independent dash cam systems. Everything records directly to the SD card on the dash camera.